there is one more concept that we have to understand before we re really understand how C evaluates expressions that is the concept of precedence. Okay. So, what do we mean by precedence? Let us uh, pick a um, expression which involves multiple operators like for example, in this expression you have two operations uh, the assignment operation and the addition operation. Now, how do we know how to evaluate this expression? So, what are the two ways uh, in which the above expression can be interpreted? The first way is you could say A equal to B and then say plus C or you can say A equal to B plus C. To decide which of the following, uh, which of the above possibilities to really do, C also defines what is known as a precedence between operators. So, we have already seen the notion of associativity, which is what happens when the many occurrences of the same operator occur in an expression. Precedence on the other hand is to mediate between two different or multiple different operations in the same expression. Okay. So, let us see what is an example of using precedence. Okay. So, in C the plus operation is given more precedence than the equal to operation. So, I really want to interpret this expression as A equal to B plus C. Okay. So, this is how I want to interpret the operation and not as um, A equal to B plus C. Okay. So, I, I want to avoid this and I want to do it in this way. So, one way I, I, I will I can ensure that is by saying that please do B plus C first okay. and then take that result and assign it to A. So, one way of doing that is to say whenever equal to and plus appear together give more importance to plus do that first. Okay. So, proceed means going first. So, plus has a greater precedence over assignment plus and minus have the same precedence and both have the same associativity we have seen this addition and subtraction have the same precedence, but multiplication and division have a higher precedence. So, if I want um, to evaluate a complicated expression, let us say that A plus B minus C star D uh, modulo E divided by F. Okay. So, suppose I have a fairly complicated expression, then the um, what I can do is what are the operations here? So, the operations are plus minus star modulo and division. Now, according to the precedence, um, I know that star modulo and division have equal precedence above plus and minus. So, I know that uh, these operations have to be done before plus and minus. So, they, they have a lower precedence. Okay. So, these have to be done first, but among them how do you know which to do first? That for that we use the left to right associativity of these operations. So, as far as uh, within the same precedence is concerned, let us just simplify the situation a little bit and think of them as the same operation. They have they are different operations of the same precedence, but I will just fudge the thing a little bit to say that let us say that they are the same operation all of them have left to right associativity. Therefore, uh, I will according to the associativity rule I will do C star D first then uh, that modulo E and then that divided by f, because that is what the left to right associativity says. Okay. So, precedence uh, by precedence we will know that uh, these three operations have to be done first. Among them how do you do this? Uh, 
star occurs first when you scan from left to right. So, C star D has to be done first and then the modular operation and then the divide by operation. Okay. So, and once you are done there, then you come to plus and minus. Okay. So, currently once we have uh, finished with this, you will have some situation like this C star D modulo E divided by F. Okay. And then on the uh, remaining side, you have A plus B minus this. Okay. And now, you have to decide which way you will do the plus and minus. Again, we know that they have the same precedence. So, let us fudge a little bit and think of them as the same operator. Both of them have the left to right associativity. So, I will do A plus B first and then the minus. Okay. So, within the same uh, precedence level, uh, you will decide which operation to do first purely based on the left to right associativity. So, let us take a look at the precedence or associativity table. Again, um, I want to emphasize it is not to memorize, it is just that if you are given this table, you should be able to understand how an expression is going to be evaluated. So, parenthesis is above all, because once you parenthesize an expression, then you are really saying this is the order that I want. So, it overrides any other precedence or associativity rule. Then you have the unary operations, which have a, uh, the second highest precedence. Then the arithmetic operations, then the comparison operation, logical operators, assignment and so on. The comma is an operation we will see later. Okay. So, uh, within the arithmetic operations, multiply, divide and modulo operator have higher precedence over plus and minus. Plus and minus have higher precedence over um, relational operations like less than, less than or equal to and so on. Okay. So, we will see a few examples of how to use this table to understand what will happen with an expression. Okay. So, let us take 10 plus 5 star 4 modulo 2 and assign to A. Okay. Let us exa examine what will happen here. So, what I will do is I will make a list of operations. So, they are equal to plus star modulo okay. and then precedence. Uh, I know that multiplication and modulo have very high precedence. Okay. Then uh, the next level is plus and then assignment has the least precedence. Now, both of these occur in this uh, in this expression uh, star and modulo. How do we decide which goes first? Both of them have um, left to right associativity. So, whatever happens first in the looking from left to right, we will do that first. So, among all these operations, we know that phi star 4 will happen first. Then this will be followed by modulo 2. and then this will be followed by 10 plus okay. and finally the last which is that you do all these operations get the get the value and assign it to a so this is the way in which the above expression will be evaluated so the above expression co corresponds to giving the parenthesis in the uh, way that we have done So, once you do that, uh, A will get the value 1, A will get the value 10. Okay. 